So, hello everyone. So, I'm Abdurrahim Al-Buziadi, a computer science engineer and a PhD researcher working on road traffic analysis using AI. And she is Yonina Buzato, bachelor working on bioinformatics. So, we are together working on the document analysis project sponsored by Enel. So, as you know, uh, Enel is the biggest energy company in Italy and they are spread all over the world. They have a lot of documents from their customers and uh, approximately 1 million documents per year. And what they are doing right now is like all these documents are being processed manually by the employees to extract relevant data about their customers and put this data on their system so they can track customer uh, history, progress, issues, etc. So this is obviously a time consuming task and a money consuming task also. Uh, it's very labor intensive and because it's done manually, it's very prone to human error. So, and these documents are not just in a simple format, but they are coming from different source channels. They can be emails, posts, faxes, digital or scanned documents, and sometimes even handwritten. So these are some examples of the documents we are working on. As you, you say, is the, they are very noisy and sometimes they contain photos and identity cards. So the way we tackle this problem is like we take the document as PDF format, as an input, we convert the document to images, and then we use our detection model to localize the barcode inside the images. We crop them, then we decode them using some decoding libraries. And if it's decoded, it's okay. If it's not, we apply also some pre-processing to remove noise. And then, we extract relevant data like, it can be like the name, surname of the customer, the ID of the meter that they're using, etc. So I will be talking about detection and my colleague after will talk about decoding. So to build a strong detection model, you need a lot of labeled data and we don't have that. So the way we solved with this issue is like, we take some cropped barcodes from the small labeled data that we have. We also cropped some of them manually and we take a background document which doesn't contain any barcodes and we overlap them randomly in the documents. And with this method, we can have an infinite amount of labeled data to use for training. So barcode detection is an object detection problem. So we use the state of the art in object detection, which is obviously deep learning with convolutional neural network. There are a lot of architecture of CNN and the best one in terms of accuracy and processing time is YOLO. They have just released their third version last year in 2018. And we trained this architecture and we had like about 96% accuracy in, de in detection. That means that out of 100 documents, we are able to detect barcodes in 96 documents. So uh, in, when we first started the project, NL detection model takes about 30 seconds to scan just one image. It's not scalable, but now with our model, it takes about just one second. And further, if you use GPU enabled machine, it can be faster, five, five times faster. So, and then off. So these are the kind of um, barcodes that we dealt with. Those are usually the ones that you're accustomed with your applications. And our Mr. Emoji here is very happy to have them because they are very easy to extract customer information. But when you have to deal with these ones that are very damaged, it's hard, so our emoji is very sad. So what we did, we basically used open source at first, so we got 60% accuracy, and then uh, we used uh, commercial with open source and we went from 60 to 82 uh, accuracy. And then uh, we didn't like very much commercial, so um, we want to uh, and use our solution with image preprocessing. And we almost uh, reached the same accuracy, 81% uh, accuracy. And uh, then we asked, uh, let's uh, do better. Let's see if uh, a model can learn itself and uh, make it uh, from, like in this case, a very simple uh, blurring, uh, decode it as a normal barcode. And this is our part pipeline again with 96% accuracy for detection and 81% accuracy for decoding. So overall, we, for the mean average is 88.5. And for the business product, we made it easy and integratable without Docker. Thank you for your attention.